Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this uh, Corky's barbecue pork dinner. It has baked beans, cinnamon apples, and barbecue, and barbecue sauce. Um, direct from Memphis, Tennessee, barbecue capital of the world. There's the apples, there's the beans, and there's the pulled pork. Um, keep frozen, microwavable. Um, it's a pretty good sized meal. So uh, we saw this, and this was the only one they had. And I don't even know where we saw. I think it was at uh, Kroger, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong. Maybe at Walmart. I'm fighting. Okay. That's a definitely not a low calorie meal. It's 480 calories. I'll cut back on something to, to lower the calories a little bit, but there's the other information. 60 milligrams of cholesterol, 940 milligrams of sodium. So it's, um, yeah, it's not really healthy necessarily. Um, and it also says it has other meals. Um, barbecue chicken dinner. Hmm, I haven't seen that one. And they'll actually ship it to you if you want to go there. So anyway, um, remove tray from outer carton, which we did. Cut plastic film to vent, so just cut it in the middle somewhere. Cook on high for three minutes. Um, stir the beans and apples, recover, cook on high for another two to three minutes and let it sit for a minute or two. Remove and be careful. Okay, and you can actually do it conventional oven too. So here it is. It looks like you get a decent quality of meat. It's not a huge quantity, but it's decent. Um, quite a bit of beans, quite a bit of apples. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a knife and um, I'll probably just cut a little slit like, like right around in this area so it kind of vents all of them and uh, get it in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, here's the meal out of the microwave, and you can see that the barbecue sauce got a little scorched around the edges, which may not be a bad thing, but um, I wonder if you shouldn't stir this up too. It doesn't say to stir this up, but um, it definitely did get a little dry around the edges, but it seems to be okay. A little scorched barbecue sauce is actually pretty good because it kind of reminds you of a grill flavor. So, um, steam, Ooh, ah, lots of steam in this meal. Yeah, you about burn your fingers off if you're not careful, so. When you're opening the plastic, make sure you're um, you're careful about it because you will burn yourself. Um, so anyway, there's that. The beans, I can get some barbecue sauce on those. That's fine. Beans look pretty good. Uh, they were frozen the first in the middle the first time I stirred them, so uh, don't don't be surprised if they're frozen. And I'm not going to stir the, the potatoes up or the uh, potatoes, the uh, apples up right now because I got beans all over my spoon, all over my fork. So I'm going to let this cool off a little bit. I'll probably actually take a little bit of this and just like prop it up and cool it off. Um, before I take that first bite. But, uh, but anyway, I will let it cool off for a little while and I will be back. Okay, right, it's had some time to cool off, so here are the beans I'm gonna take. Those baked beans have a different flavor to them. They're, um, first of all, they got a little spicy to them too. To them. It was really close, sorry. Back up a little. Um, they have a little bit of spice to them, but they're also sweet, so that's a little weird. Um, it almost tastes like I have um, almost like a vinegar or a, I don't know, there's something. Something unique to those beans. Hold on. The beans, baked beans, brown sugar, corn syrup, salt, um, bacon, um, dextrose spice, caramel coloring, onion powder. Um, smoke flavor, garlic powder. Hmm. It does have bell pepper in there. So maybe that's what I'm tasting. Is it does have some green peppers in there. It is really good. I'm used to Tammy's, which is very, very sweet. Um, brown sugar um, and mustard and vinegar. That's her primary ingredients. Um, this is a little bit different. It's like a, it does, it has a, like a vinegary flavor to it. I don't know. It's pickle relish or something. I don't know. Like a pickly flavor. It's good. It's just different. Um, now here's the pork. Ooh, nah. Got it. Nah. There's the piece of pulled pork I'm going to try. Pretty good sized piece of pork. They actually give you quite a bit. You can make a sandwich out of that if you didn't, like you didn't have enough calories with this meal already. Um, you could make a sandwich out of this if you really wanted to. So I'm going to give it a try. Mm. 
has an excellent uh, pork barbecue flavor. I mean, it's really, really good. That barbecue sauce, hold on, let me take one more bite. Yeah, barbecue sauce has a really good smoke flavor to it. Well, the meat has the smoke flavor too. But it's not, um, the barbecue sauce is not a really super, super sweet barbecue sauce like a lot of the, um, like if you buy Kraft or Casey Masterpiece, any kind of pre prepared uh, barbecue sauce, most of it has a very, very sweet flavor to it, which is what I'm used to eating. Um, this actually has a little bit of sweet, but it also has just a really good smoke flavor to it. Um, brown sugar kind of flavor to it. It's really good. Um, it's hard to describe, but it's an excellent, excellent flavor. And let me try an apple. Uh, if I can dig out this small one here. Get out of there. There's still steam coming off the apple because I really didn't stir them up. So here's the apple I'm going to take. That's a real good uh, brown sugar cinnamon apple. You get tons of this glaze. I mean, this apple, thick apple glaze. I mean, it's super, super sweet. But you get three kind of, um, of those little wedges of apple in there, and then you get tons of that gel in there. Um, I don't, I'll probably try to eat some of the apple and not as much gel and try to cut the calories a little bit. Um, I actually may not eat all the beans. There's something I'm gonna cut back to reduce those calories a little bit because that's a lot of calories for me. Um, overall, actually this meal, I'm gonna ignore the calories, just go on flavor. This is probably four and a half, five all day long because it's a really, really good meal, really good flavors, um, unique barbecue flavors. They're not, like I said, it's not a sweet flavor. It's a really good, um, it's a really good barbecue flavor. The beans are excellent and the apples are really good too. Um, like I said, I, I'll give this one a four and a half, five, right around in that kind of in between. Um, not somebody I'd want to eat all the time just because of the calories. Maybe I'll knock it half for the calories. But, um, but overall, excellent meal. If you get them in your area, try them out. This is the first time we've ever seen them. Um, if you want to try the chicken, I'm assuming it's the same thing. It's just going to be chicken instead of beef. But um, yeah, excellent meal. So I uh, hope that helps and thanks for watching.